G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and in this video, I'm going to go over how you can add a video call from Microsoft Teams and add it into your vMix production. It's September 2020, and Teams has just been updated to allow for the video and audio output to be available via NDI. This makes it handy for vMix users as you can now add the video calls directly into vMix instead of having to capture screens and all of that jazz. Now what I'll be showing you in this video is how to output your vMix production into Teams so that the caller doesn't hear their own audio. Then we'll go over how to add the Teams video into vMix. Now here's a quick picture as to what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sending out our vMix video and audio out via NDI to the NDI virtual input. This will allow us to select it in Teams. Then we're going to input our Teams call into vMix via NDI. There are a couple of things that we'll need to have installed to get this going. Firstly, you'll need to make sure that you have the latest version of Microsoft Teams installed. The current version I have today is 1.3.00.21759, although I'm sure that's going to be much higher if you are watching this in the future. Uh, next, you'll need to install Nutex NDI Toolpack. So we're going to be using the NDI virtual input in that that allows us to send our video and audio out from vMix into Teams. So the link for that will be in the description. Now we use the NDI virtual input as it's a driver that's been around for a very long time and allows us to easily add audio and video into things like Teams. And as usual, you wanna have the latest version of vMix installed. Now in the description, I'll include these links and I'll also include information from Microsoft about how to use Teams as well. So firstly, we're going to set up what you're going to be sending our caller from vMix. So what you'll need to do is go into vMix and then go to the settings section and then go to outputs slash NDI slash SRT up here. Now what we're going to be doing is sending them our main production. So whatever we're streaming and recording, that's what usually what you wanna send your guests. That way they know exactly what's happening in the production. So I've got my first output here that's sending the output. And then what I wanna do is make sure that I've got NDI on. So I wanna be able to make that available to the virtual input. Then next to that, I wanna click on the little gear icon. Now this little gear icon will allow me to choose what audio channel I'm sending my caller. Now by default, this is going to be master, but because we're adding their own audio into our production and it's gonna become a part of the stream and the recording, we wanna make sure that we send them a custom audio mix so we can remove their audio. So I'm gonna set that up on bus A today. Now you can choose any of the other buses available in vMix if you want to. I'm just gonna choose A today because it's the easiest one to click on. So I'm gonna click OK down the bottom. So as you can see here, I've got my output being sent via NDI and I've also selected my NDI audio to use bus A. So that audio setting in there is just for NDI there. Um, your master audio is still being used for the stream and the recording. If you wanted to enable some of those audio outputs, you just go down to audio outputs here and you can click enabled here to enable them in vMix. So now I'm back in the main vMix interface. As you can see underneath my audio inputs down here, I've got M, A, and B. And if I right click on that, I can see any of the other buses that are available to me. So currently um, I'm sending through my camera microphone, which is embedded here. That's going through to the main production, the master here. As you can see, it's recording um, and it would be being streamed if I was streaming. So if I wanna send that to my caller on bus A, I just need to click the little A underneath it, like so. Now I also have a video here that's available. I can choose to send that to them as well. So usually it's a good idea to create a mix that includes all the elements that you'll want them to hear, which is going to be pretty much everything. So your microphone, your video files, audio files, and that sort of thing, but just not their audio. So when we add their Teams call in, we'll make sure that the A is not selected. So another thing that a lot of people forget when they're making calls and that sort of things is that they uh, leave their headphones audio on. So you can remove the ability to hear your own microphone in your headphones by clicking this here. You can turn it off or adjust the audio. I like to turn it off. That way I don't hear myself. I really don't like hearing myself. So I like to turn that off. And if you ever wanna check your audio levels on your microphone, you can click the solo button and then you'll be able to hear yourself in your headphones if you wanted to check it. So now we'll need to run the new tech NDI virtual input, which will allow us to hook up the vMix output to Teams. So what I'm gonna do is just go into Windows here and search for virtual input, there it is there. Uh, and that's going to load up in the taskbar down the bottom here in Windows. So that's going to give me the ability to right click on it and then select our NDI output that we wanna to connect to it. So my computer here is called Beacon and I wanna send vMix output one. So I'm going to select that. 
So that's now going to be available in Teams. Now we're going to head to Teams and set it all up. So firstly, you will need to have NDI turned on in the Teams admin. Now I've done that here in the settings. Am I a Teams expert? Absolutely not. If you don't have access to this, then you'll need to get your 365 administrator to set this up and enable it for you. Now they should know how to do this a little bit better than I do in regards, you know, setting it all up. I've just added it as a global permission, but that's probably not the right way to do it, but that's what I've done to get it working for this tutorial. So once your admin has turned on NDI, you should be able to switch it on in the permission section of your Teams account. So if we go up to the settings here and then go to this section and then go down to permissions, you should be able to select and turn on NDI. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so next of all, we wanna to go to devices and we need to set up our um, information here. So for the speaker, this can be a little bit tricky. Um, you may need to play around with this a little bit. Um, so I'm going to select headphones and then I'm gonna mute it later on so I'm not hearing the call twice to make it confusing. So I'm gonna mute that later on. For the microphone, I'm going to select NDI audio, which is coming from that virtual input. And then for the camera, I'm going to select NDI video here. So because we made that available, as you can see, it is now here ready to go. So I am right to go here. I'm now sending Teams my vMix audio bus A, and I'm now sending it my output video as well. So I've got my earbud in and I'm ready to connect up with Ben. Um, we don't use Microsoft Teams here, so you'll have to bear with us as we try and show you our Microsoft Teams expertise. So I'm going to give him a call now. Um, he's working from home, so hopefully he's not playing Minecraft. Probably quickly doing a mad dash to show that he's changing his Minecraft screen. How, hi, Ben. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Good. It's, I'm glad you're so pumped to be here today. How's the, uh, how's the working from home experience treating you? Ah, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Interesting. Um, lone quarters. Mm. Yeah, it's Alone with Steve. Is that how right. it works? Is that the guy's name on Minecraft? It is. Look yes. at me. I'm all it's about Minecraft. Well yeah. All right. So um, what I'm going to do now is just go into my settings. And what I'm going to do is go into the device settings and just t mute him. So um, I don't want to hear it twice back in vMix. So I don't want to hear his audio in vMix and audio in Teams as well. I just want to hear it once. So I'm going to mute it here. So I can't actually hear what you're saying, Ben. So just make sure you don't say anything that lip readers can read and um, interpret uh, negatively. So, um, all right, so now I'm gonna jump into vMix uh, and we're gonna go to add input and then we're gonna go to NDI. And what we can do now is see all the different Microsoft Teams NDI outputs here. So as you can see, I've got Ben here, he's available to me. So I'm gonna click on that and click okay. And I've now got Ben in my production like so. I don't want to add Ben to bus A. So I want to leave that as master so he's not hearing himself back. So we're sending him bus A, which doesn't include his microphone because it's not selected here. So if I turn on his audio now, uh, Ben, I can now hear you. Tell me something exciting. Um, the day's almost ended. Um... Well, there you go. Inspirational words from Ben there. So what I can do now is bring him into the production. He can now see himself. So there you go, Ben, now you can see yourself. You must be very excited to be a part of this production. And uh, so yeah, Ben's a part of the production. Would you mind sharing your screen with us also? Yep, I can do that. Um, so while Ben's uh, sharing his screen with us, uh, it can take a little bit for it to come up. Uh, and once that's done, then we can bring his screen in as well. So I'll go through some of the settings from, from Ben here. I don't want to automatically mix the audio. I want to be able to hear him wherever he is in our production. So I want to manually control when the audio is on and off. So I'm going to untick this box here. So if I had this on, it means his audio would only be available when he's in the output. So I'm just going to change that. So now, no matter where Ben is, as you can see here, if you want to say something, Ben. Hello. So you can uh, hear Ben no matter where he is in the production now, which is what we want. So what we can do now is also go to NDI and now we can see his uh, shared screen. So I can click OK here, and now we can see his shared screen in the production as well. Now, audio as well, I wanna make sure that this is off, and I wanna manually control his audio, so I'm not going to turn that on because it shares the same audio, unfortunately. So yeah, what we can do is we can set up a double box here. For example, if we uh, go into box one, we can put Ben in box one, and Ben's screen in box two, for example. And so now we can have Ben explain to us uh, 
why he loves Minecraft based on his screens that he's got there. I just like the uh, background, to be honest. I just thought it looked really cool. Excellent. So thanks for your explanation. So that's uh, that's how we've added Ben into our production. We've added his screen. Now, again, as we're not Teams experts, I'm sure there's a lot of different things that you can do th with this and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so that's how you can add it in vMix. So we're sending him just back a bus when we set it all up. And so his audio is not being sent back to him, which is what we want. So um, yeah, so I think that's about it for this Teams video. Uh, thanks, Ben, for joining us. Do you have any final words for us? No, 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 no. I don't. You just want to get off this wild ride, I guess. All right, Very so I'm well. just going to mute you. I'm going to mute you now. Uh, so Ben's now out of this. Uh, so this is the first iteration of the Teams uh, NDI output. We've noticed some different things with the watermarking appearing on some NDI outputs in vMix and in the uh, the New Tech Studio monitor and that sort of thing as well. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And some alerts saying NDI is on and off when it's on. So I'm not really quite sure. Again, this is likely to change uh, as they update Teams and uh, more people are using it with NDI and that sort of thing. So. We're not really familiar with Teams that much, so if you do have any questions, you can drop us an email, but you may want to check out some of the Microsoft information about Teams and uh, using NDI. So thanks for watching, and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.